Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to use a GSM module to send and receive SMS messages from your computer. Now, I'm using the SIM 800L GSM GPRS module. This is pretty much what you have in your smartphone, and it allows you to make voice calls, send messages, and communicate through the internet. If you look at the quarter next to the module, it's such a small package, and it can do so many different things. This is the other side of the module, and you can see the micro SIM slot. So the micro SIM card that I'm using is a T-Mobile GSM 2G SIM card. And as you can see, the cutoff corner is on the top left. And that's the orientation of the SIM card. And you can barely see the little SIM card stamped on the metal. The cutoff corner is on the top left as well. And that's the orientation of the SIM card. This is the antenna connected to the module. It's just a small circuit board. First, we need to look at the specifications for the module. The VCC voltage is about 3.8 volts to 4.2 volts. It uses standard asynchronous serial communication, or UART. The max logic level is about 2.8 volts. It uses a GSM-compatible 2G micro SIM card. It supports quad band, 850, 950, 1800, 1900 megahertz. The working temperature is about minus 40 to 85 C. That's no problem. The peak current consumption is about two amps, so use an adequate power supply. The speed for the serial communication is 1200 BPS to 115,200 BPS. Now the two things we need to look at is the VCC voltage and the 2.8 volt logic level. Now the VCC voltage I can take care of with a buck converter. For the serial logic level of 2.8 volts I found a solution online that uses a voltage divider and you'll see it in the wiring diagram. Here's the wiring diagram for the SIM 800L GSM module coming out of the RX pin it goes to a voltage divider, 10K and 4.7K. This is the serial to USB. It only uses three pins, RX, TX, and ground. Several years ago, I purchased a bunch of buck converters, and these happen to work perfectly. This happens to be an LM2596 DC to DC buck converter. For the USB to serial, I'm using something like this. It's connected to a mini USB connector going to your computer. This USB to serial converter is actually from Parallax. Here I have the uh, SIM 800L powered up and ready to go. Here's the SIM 800L. This is the buck converter. I have 5 volts coming in here. I tuned it with this potentiometer. I have four volts feeding the GSM module. I do have um, an LED here. That's actually for the PIC microcontroller that I'm working on later. And the serial connection is going to serial to USB converter. And this goes to the USB connection that connects to the computer. These two resistors, that's the voltage divider providing the correct logic level going to the uh, GSM module. Now after powering on the GSM module for the SIM 800L, note the LED at the corner here. When you first power it on, it will blink. If it blinks every one second, that tells you that there's no network and no connection. If it blinks at about every two seconds, it has a GPRS connection. If it blinks every three seconds, that tells you that you do have a cellular connection and you can do SMS messaging as well. Okay, I'm using a PuTTY for the uh, serial terminal on my computer. Terminal settings is what you see here. The uh, serial connection uh, settings is what you see here as well. And after you power up the uh, GSM module, you want to use the AT command, AT, usually in caps, I guess. And uh, now that tells you that uh, you have a good serial connection to the GSM module, but uh, it does not tell you that your SIM card is working or if your SIM card is inserted correctly or not. So you want to make sure that you insert the micro SIM correctly and also your SIM card is active and working correctly. Okay, to use SMS messaging on your GSM module, you first want to type in AT plus CM GF equal one, enter. That sets up the GSM module for SMS messaging. And then you want to enter in AT plus CMGS equal quote. And then here you want to enter in the phone number that you want to send the message to. 
and I'll enter in that phone number. After you enter the number, you want to end it with another quote and then hit enter. And that will give you a, a greater than symbol. That is the message prompt. So you want to enter in the message that you want to send to that number. This is a test message from the GSM module, period. And I found out using PuTTY that I need to give it a carriage return first and then end it with a control Z and that'll actually send it. If I were to put the control Z right here, it will actually delete the message and send a, a blank message. So after your message for PuTTY that is, hit the carriage return and then do a control Z. So you'll have to figure it out with the terminal that you're using. So control Z is how you end your message. Hit enter and that will send it. And then my phone should get the message in just a second. So here's the message on my phone and it's from the uh, GSM module, the SIM 800L. This is a test message from the GSM module. And let's say I wanted to reply on my phone. This is a reply. Press send. Okay. And now on the uh, terminal, putty terminal, you'll see plus CMTI colon me in quotes, comma 42. And 42 is the message ID for the received message on the GSM module. So you received a reply to your initial message and the ID number is 42. Here's how you would read the message. So you want to type in AT plus CMGR equal and then enter in the message ID 42. Hit enter and that will give you the message that you received. It gives you the number that it came from as well as the message as well as the uh, time and date as well. So notice that um, it says unread when you pulled up the message. If you were to type in AT plus CMGR equal 42 again, enter, it changed to red. Also, if you wanted to delete the message, you would type in AT plus CMGD for delete, I believe, equal the ID, hit enter, and then that should have deleted the message. Let's see if we can actually read that message again, see if it's still there. AT plus CMGR for read equal 42. And notice there's no more message for ID 42. If you wanted to list all of your messages, you would type in AT plus CMGL equal quote ALL end quote and hit enter and this should list all of your messages. So I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.